Pretty Death Soccer here. So I'm out with my wife. We're out for a little ride in, uh, in the fall. We have, uh, like we've had some cold weather, so the leaves are starting to turn. And the uh, this weekend has actually turned out to be not a bad day. It's, uh, you know, getting close to 18 Celsius, which is about 60 something Fahrenheit. And uh, the weather stations are telling us that we probably only have two more weeks of this before the cold weather hits. So we thought we'd come out because A, it's a weekend and it's nice and sunny and it's not wet. And see if we can get a little ride on the bikes before uh, riding season comes to an end. So I'm just sort of going down a little uh, road that I don't think she's actually been on before, just to get a look at the scenery. It's kind of hard right now. Part of the road in uh, in town uh, there was a collapse last in the spring. Uh, on the road, some sort of water situation getting under the road and undermining it. So they fixed it and it collapsed again. So we got the uh, Acme uh, Construction Company obviously at work here. And of course the road's gonna be closed probably for about a month. So it should be opened again by the time winter fully hits. So we're gonna be turning here, okay? You got your signal on? Okay, just, just take your time. Oh, it actually had a turning lane. First, a little bit of sand. Okay. So there's actually pumpkin farms on this road. Yeah. Well, at least there was a couple years ago. Well, there's crab apples all over the road. And you see the farmers are starting to take the crops in. Now a lot of the stuff is still green because we've had a lot of rain this year so everything's actually very well uh, hydrated. Fun house. Yep. Oh, probably. Probably pumpkin pie and probably pumpkin seeds. A Christmas tree farm over there. Never actually been up here for Christmas trees. Yeah, I just question if it's a commercial. Uh, yeah, it's a commercial one. That's why it looks so good. Yeah, that's where you get the hundred dollar Christmas trees. But you see, the, see the leaves are starting to turn. the right temperature for riding right now too. Yep. Yep. I could have swore there was more pumpkins uh, around here. That there was a lot last year, or about, I guess about three years ago I came down here. Manitoba got over a foot of snow. Yeah, but they get it early though. I just hope it holds off for a couple more weeks. Well, that's that's when we sort of start getting it is November. Yeah. It's pretty sad when the farmer's almon uh, almanac is actually better than most of the weather reports.
Yeah, I know. You see all the moisture in the asphalt here, eh, because of the shade? Like later on, once the sun's over here, this will all dry. Wow, like, uh, we're actually going over the speed limit. How fast do you think they're going? I know. I know, I keep checking too. No. Yeah, I've not seen any uh, pumpkins at all. Unless maybe, well they would have harvested them I assume by now, but, but you still would normally see a few. Yeah. Yeah, I saw that. Well, she's got she's gotten more because uh, something ate the first one she had. Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of feeding the tree rats. Oh, there they are. So I guess those are the ones that nobody really wanted. Seeing as how when this Halloween when this video is recorded, Halloween is still like another week away. Yeah, don't care. Yeah. stop sign up ahead. Yeah, well, it's the way they drew all the... No, it's because they just had some idiots from Ottawa come in and said, just, they drew, like, you know, look at how our town's part of Flamborough now for uh, the elections. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I know. That just goes without saying. Yeah, we're going straight. We're, this road's going to run right around and hook up with governors. This is Linden Road. That's that house that's been for sale for a while. And we got pumpkins over there too. such a long ride, uh, Hoppy Valley would be a good place to go to see the leaves. But it's like two hours of horrible traffic. No. Oh, uh, yeah, we did it the one time in the, in the car when I went up to show you where my grandparents' cottage was. Uh, turtle. Yeah, I know. Yeah.
think you know why this place got called Powerline Road? Yeah. Yeah. I'm betting the leaves are probably just gonna like they'll change like this and then probably in about a week they'll all be gone. Yeah. How much did you get? So you so basically two or three more bags then. Yep. Oh, he doesn't come by anymore. the jet up there, eh? Up to the uh, right, up high? Okay, we got a uh, turn coming up now. Okay. And we have a set of railway tracks, which if I recall the last time, were very rough. But they've repaved the road, so I don't know if it's better or not. Railway tracks are just up ahead. Yeah, the leaves have really done a nice job turning here. Yep. Ah, you know everyone's happy when even the Harley guys are waving at me. All right. You might want to downshift. Actually, it's not too bad. They've actually fixed it. The last time I hit that thing, I almost ended up doing a handstand off the bike, and I wasn't even speeding. Yeah, it was it was horrid. See, they repaved the road up here. This is uh, Betham Church Road, and they like it was like you're driving down this this road coming this way, and it's like it's nice, and all of a sudden you hit this patch, and you go oh, that's not too good. Then you hit the tracks, and it was like that really sucked. Yep. Here's the church. Bethlehem Church. Eight, 1861. I don't know if it's still a real church or not. Well, it's still got the cemetery in the back. Normally when a church closes, they, uh, they do something. Uh, no, they actually have a procedure on it. Uh, yeah, they uh, they take down all the all the tombstones and, and place it with a, a, a like a large plaque, like a, a stone plaque saying who's all buried here. Uh, not unless uh, someone buys the property. Yeah, but it's it's marked that way, and the, the cemetery boards take care of it. It's it's yeah yeah exactly. Well, there, there, will be, there will be a plaque there saying there's a family there. Like, so this might be this particular family. Anyways, we're turning here. That's Governor's Road. Yep. Yeah, they, they probably mow it once or twice a year. 
Yeah, but that's how they, that's how they, it's, there's a, actually a section of the, you gotta remember when I had to work on that, okay, 30. When I had to work on that, uh, do all the records management stuff for the company, you know, you start reading all these different things, and I, I came across it in the uh, in the legislation, and I went like the it's part of the Cemetery Act, and it's specific about what can and cannot be done on the properties, and like apparently, if you if you buy the property and you want to move the bodies, you've got to get permission from a surviving member of the family. And there's been that's the and the one in Burlington, they probably didn't get permission. That's why it's still there. Because you know that uh, uh, the uh, the sisters church uh, building they're turning into the uh, the foreign students uh, housing. Well, apparently there's a lot of a lot of nuns buried there too. So the but the church is going to actually uh, move the bodies to the Catholic cemetery. Yeah. Yeah. So I guess they got a behind, beyond the valley uh, thing here, eh? I just see studio. Oh, that's that's the Potter there. Okay. Okay. Anyways, so how'd you like that for a ride? Okay. Well, I hope you enjoyed it too. And some boring little chat between me and my wife. I don't know if you're gonna hear it very hear much of her because we don't have uh, dual mics, but. Uh, this is probably going to be the last ride for the two of us, unless by some chance of a uh, miracle of a chance, we get some warm weather. Because she's even more of a fairer rider than I am. Anyways, Death Stalker, signing off.